Hello, I'm Katie Frid and I'm an artist and I'm making these videos to help other artists who are just starting out. Uh, today's video is about self-publishing. Um, I I feel like with, with artists, so much emphasis is put on selling the artwork and to be honest, we can't always, unless you're, you're really doing well, really making it, selling your work, um, which is obviously a goal for everyone, um, there's also there's also this whole other market of people who can't afford the price you deserve for your art but they might be really interested in your work and they might be able to afford something smaller like the price of a book or something like that so i think uh, they're such a great idea for for that market um and they make a nice gift if you if you've got it listed on Amazon people can put that in their wish list um, they could they could also um, uh, tell people that's what they want for their birthday present or Christmas or whatever so um, other people could get that for them um, in like a gift list or something so yeah I think it's a really good idea you've got a market there um, it also doubles as a catalogue of your work forever because you're going to be putting these books in um, well if you go down one route you can put these books in the five major libraries if you're in the UK or in America it's probably a similar thing I don't know exactly what it, what it is in America um, so you've got those books are in the libraries the major UK libraries forever so um, like that's great for like as a historical document um so yeah i would say work on a book i think with a book you need to maybe it depends what kind of one you're doing if you were doing one with covering a lot of your work in it um then then obviously you're going to have different work in there but even if you do you should maybe have it so it's in certain sections so you've got collections of work within that book um, or you could just do a book with one collection. The book I'm doing at the moment, I'm concentrating on one collection of work um, that's similar. So, um, yeah, and if you don't have any, if your, your work is quite diverse at the moment and you haven't yet got anything that's sort of collective, maybe try and work on on something. So take one of, one of the themes that you're working on at the moment and produce maybe five to ten or sort of ten of similar pictures or, or in the same theme or same technique or something like that so you've got a natural collection there galleries like collections anyway um, they like to see that your work although your work can change um they like to see that you have stayed within one sort of way of painting for a certain length of time anyway so if you're, do you're doing that for galleries as well um, I think it shows that you can focus and concentrate on a certain thing for a certain amount of time anyway um, but that would be quite a nice thing to put in a book as well so you've got a collection of your work um, and it's good for in the future for referencing your own work without having to look through all your sketchbooks or wherever you know you've got a nice neat thing there referencing all the work that you've done it's good for people who are researching you in the future um, also when you sell a piece of work although you hope that the buyer is going to look after it and take care of it there's always the chance it could be destroyed in a house fire or a fire of some sort it could be damaged um, it could be lost or sadly the person might get bored with the work and throw it away so once you've sold a work there is always that thing of that you may never see that again and that that might be the end of <laughs> end of your piece in a way so um so I think when you've got it all in a you have to not not be too precious about your work or you wouldn't sell it you wouldn't let it go but I think if you've got a collection of of it anyway you should be photographing your work um then you need to then it's then it's quite a good thing to have it all in one place so you can you can remember the work that you've done and how you've progressed um so anyway I use lulu.com um, I did look at a lot of self-publishing books when I first did uh, when I first published a book 
um, and I settled on lulu.com. This was before Create Space came along and I have had a quick look at Create Space but I'm not sure about it at the moment. Um, I haven't looked into it in enough detail yet so I'm sticking with lulu.com at the moment. There is also Blurb um, which I've heard is good for people in the UK but um, I, I like lulu.com because I could see straight away clearly that I could list my work on Amazon and that's where I wanted to, to have it listed at the end stage because I buy all my books pretty much from Amazon which I know might be bad um, but I but I do it's easy for me I trust them as a company to buy my buy with my bank details and things so I trust them um, so I want and also it's got quite a bit of kudos if you've got your book listed there it, it's more of a real thing as well um, so uh, so I just sort of went for one that I knew I could get onto Amazon um, yeah and also it had the possibility of global distribution although at the, the moment I've only gone for extended reach distribution which is an option on Lulu um, which means it's selling in the UK and America and I think some other countries as well um, but I haven't got it on global distribution but I did make sure that the book I chose because they, they offer all these different books of different sizes different pages and everything um, and and I, I worked out the book that I could use the same template for um, the UK USA distribution and then if I wanted to in the future go to global distribution I wouldn't have to alter the book and redo it all although you could you know if it works out you could do that if you wanted to have some different options for the book book selling um, I think uh, there's no hardcover or there's maybe a couple of hardcover books that you can get at the global distribution level um, but they're very expensive with Lulu uh, so I've just gone for paperbacks um, yeah so I downloaded a template of the book that I decided that I wanted to have um, and then I could just write my book and paste my pictures into that template so it was really easy to do then you've got a cover image and a back image um, and you can work on that in either Photoshop or, or GIMP if you haven't got Photoshop uh, GIMP is a free thing similar to Photoshop and uh, a graphic thing um, or you can ask a, uh, somebody who's a graphic designer to help you do that r relatively cheaply um, if you're more of an artist and less of a graphic designer or you're just not very technical when it comes to computers um, hopefully most people are probably better now coming out of schools at computers than than older people anyway um, so yeah uh, you can get a free Lulu ISPN which um, is great because you've got no upfront costs um, or you can go with having your own press in a way by registering um, buying some ISBNs from Nielsen and they register your books as your own company so with my first book I went for the free Lulu ISBN because it was free and it meant I could didn't have to wait to to pay for these reg these um, this ISBN thing and register it all um, but in the future I've decided I am gonna buy my own ISBNs and have my own press um, small press so that I'm I'm the publisher they're the printer and distributor so um, I don't know what the company would be in America but I'm sure there'd be a similar company that you could find out that registers ISBNs um, so in the UK it's about 120 pounds for a block of 10 ISBNs um, so that's quite good if you're going to do the books in different shapes or hardback or whatever if you're going to do different ones for different markets um, or you could save them for future books that you're going to do uh, and then if you've bought your own ISBNs you have to send 
five book five copies to libraries in the UK um, they're the the basically the book depositories so that they've got a copy um, and that's like a legal requirement they have a copy of that book um, for historical purposes so I think that's a great idea as an artist because that means you're in the history books in a way you're in history you're marked in history so um, if you like that kind of thing um, and also if you've registered your own and you've made up your own press name and everything rather than having Lulu which people in the know are going to know that Lulu is a self-publishing company so if you've got your own company name it's less obviously self-published which um, some people are quite snobby about self-publishing so um, which, which is fair enough because you see some of the work on Lulu and some of it is very poor and amateur but um, so that might be a good reason to have your own name. Um, other artists that have published, uh, self-published their work are William Blake and there's some others as well but I can't think of them but William Blake definitely self-published his work so even great artists have done this at some time so I don't think there's any reason to not do this um, yeah and I'm gonna do some more videos as I work through my second book um, I'm gonna do some more videos on self-publishing so if I do finish any I'll link them at the end of this video um, yeah so what I want you to do is go and check out lulu.com if you haven't looked at it already. Uh, put a collection of work together and if you haven't got a collection of similar works, like just even 10 pieces of work that are similar, um, work on that and once you've got that, photograph it and work on putting it together in, in a book for uh, on Lulu or, or one of the other self-publishing sites. Um, yeah experiment with with them have a book printed I know on Lulu you can have a book printed reasonably cheaply as an experiment you don't even have to have an ISBN to have a, a book printed and just see what your work is like and you can always change it afterwards um, if you do get a book as far as going on to Amazon which can take about six to eight weeks from the final publishing so you have to be patient um, but if you do leave a link below because I would love to see um, I would love to see something that I've inspired you to do so if you get a book published and you've got it on Amazon please post a link below this video on YouTube and um, yeah if it was inspiring to you this video please do like comment um, ask me any questions and subscribe to my channel um, you can find me on Facebook either on my main page or my how to be a successful artist page It'd be lovely to see you over there um, just drop in and say hi and um, yeah uh, the links will be below um, and uh, we'll, yeah I'll see you again soon thank you bye